hi welcome to what routine happy new week today i want to talk about the topic i titled don't let pride stop you yes i'm talking to you and i'm talking to myself also don't let pride stop you from doing the right thing and i want to i want to i want to read a story from the book of matthew It's a story you all are familiar with the book of matthew chapter 26 from verse 69 to the end he said now peter sat outside in the courtyard and a servant girl came to him saying you also were with jesus of galilee but he denied it before them all saying i do not know what you are saying and when he had gone out to the gateway another girl saw him and said to those who were there this fellow also was with jesus of nazareth but again he denied him with an oath i do not know the man and a little later a little later those who stood by came up and said to peter surely you also are one of them for your speech betrays you then he began to curse and swear saying i do not know the man he cursed hmm saying I do not know the man, immediately a rooster, a rooster, is it rooster or rooster, a rooster crowd, and Peter remembered the word of Jesus who had said to him, before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times, so he went out and wept bitterly, he wept bitterly, so what, what, what am I trying to bring out from this, so we know the story, of how when jesus was eating with his disciples he had predicted his death and he has also predicted the fact that you know some people were going to somebody was going to betray him who happened to be judas iscariot right so eventually even he was still talking having the words in his mouth when he was telling them when judas came and betrayed him judas came kissed him gave him away and he left then now peter but i want us to dwell on peter which is why i'm saying let's not pride deprive you so peter on his own remember it was also predicted that peter was going to deny him you know and peter did that's why the father everyone who were telling peter oh i know this man they saw peter with jesus peter denied him who have you denied who have you betrayed hey sometimes situations you know come around happens around us and before we do it we are denying our friends we're denying our families because we don't want to get in trouble you don't want to get in trouble uh, get your friend in trouble you deny so many things but here is the thing that i'm trying to bring up because mistake happens things happen i mean we're in the world we're human beings we're not god so we are bound to make mistakes no matter how holy how righteous you think you are trust me there is one thing that you know, uh, it may not be that much of a good experience when people come across you but whenever you realize that you have made a mistake this is where my message is please humble yourself and apologize humble yourself and apologize even if you're not going to be friends with that person anymore please humble yourself and then let's look at two, these two people the difference between the two of them peter realized they remember which means all the time he was denied he actually forgot maybe he forgot the fact that jesus said he was going to betray him or maybe he forgot the fact that oh this man is a very good friend of mine that i should not betray he forgot but as soon as the rooster crowed, crowed he remembered and what did he do he went somewhere he wept bitterly and of course weeping bitterly means that he was broken he was sorry and god showed him mercy because with all the you know account of peter all the things that he had done yeah he did you can tell that he repented while judas out of pride i think it's pride because you should know jesus very well that there is no for kind of forgiveness you ask him that he will not grant you why didn't you even if you had it's not in the bible i'm just saying now even if he if he had appeared in front of the corner say i'm sorry i'm sorry i think it would have been fine but in this case he went to hang himself please don't hang yourself stop beating up yourself if you have sinned nobody i'm telling you nobody look at me nobody's above sin if you have not fallen trust me you still fall tomorrow because you're not god he's the only one that cannot fall for men, for us, human beings, we will fall, we make mistakes. Sometimes we find ourselves in a mess that we never ever thought would have happened to us. But yes, it did. Then what do you do? Get up, dust it off, 
apologize to who you need to apologize to if it's god go to god in prayer asking for forgiveness he's ever willing and always waiting to accept you back don't be like judas is courage make up your mind to be like peter who wept bitterly, repented, and continued to follow Christ even though he was dead, though he came back to life. So please make it right. Let us make it right so that this love that we're preaching, remember, I think I should talk about love next week because this whole Christianity, everything is built on love. So this love for this love for us to be able to sustain it, we must always not allow pride to come in between and the love of God. God bless you. Happy New Week.